Hello fam, welcome back to our channel. The issue of Ibrahim Mago, the suspended EFCC boss, has taken another twist as he has decided to fight back one way or the other by mentioning big names associated to clean cleanly looting of the recovered funds without necessarily you know nigerians knowing as it looks as if it was just only him they make it look as if it was only him that's in the game informations have started leaking into the social media space uh, he mentioned quite a number of big boys involved in this uh, obviously looking at the way it may play out you may finally agree with us here that um, a lot of things will definitely go down but before we go into the news proper for the analysis, we do love you to subscribe to our channel if you have not already done so by clicking on the red subscribe button and also the bell notification icon to get both subscribed and notified as soon as we update our channel on YouTube. All right, uh, obviously, Magu has started fighting back by leaking out, by bringing out memos and instructions that exposes. And also shows that the AGF himself is not totally clean. Expect more of this. Uh, well, from one Farouk Peroki, who is um, a, a, an internet sensation, a Twitter user, who seems to be a pundit, political pundit, Nigerian political pundit, have done his permutations and reactions, quote and unquote, concerning this matter. And he's of the opinion that everyone may likely, everyone in Buhari's regime is pilfering the nation till the only clean president the regime is on court one which means that you, that anyone you're seeing now that is keeping quiet it's not because he's very clean it's just because he has not been caught today may not be his day but definitely a day may be coming that is for him but to the force to clearly understand where we're heading we're going to be seeing the pictures of the memos being played about you know for for accountability sake we would like to read some of the uh, the, the letter the content of the letters well, this was actually coming from the letter headed of the attorney general of the federation and minister of justice federal minister of justice plot 71 show sagari way my tema abuja fct nigeria this was dated on the 9th September 2019 with reference number HAGS forward slash ARMU forward slash NSA forward slash 2018-2018 forward slash 1. Referring to the managing director, OMOJ Nigeria Limited and Co. He said, re report on suit number FOHC four slash a b s four slash c s slash four slash seven four two four slash two thousand and seventeen f r n and and anchor anno v unknown persons that's arrested vessels he, that's the whole topic of what the memo is referring to so pursuance to your earlier instruction dated on the twelfth september two thousand and eighteen on the above named subject matter, you are hereby instructed to further conduct an open bid sale for the following vessels: A. Empty asteris with oil, with crude oil; B. MV PSV Debbie with automated gas or AGO; mm. C. MV Zara with automated gas or AGO steel. D M T P E A C that's peace and M T Anoket Emerald. It's a number two. Please be advised to revert with the offer to the Honorable Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice for final approval before the conclusion of sale. Three by in, be informed that the success that the success fee remains three percent of the total value recovered from the auction you are therefore expected to submit acceptance letter within two that's 72 72 hours of receipt of this instruction please accept my best wishes duly signed by abubakar malami san san senior advocate of nigeria honorable attorney general of the federation and ministry minister of justice 
mm, attached to the same memo is some sort of a, a received kind of um, a memo to show that it has been seen and received. I also take my time and read this so you will understand as well. And it's coming from the Office of the Honorable Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice. Mm, with all the letter headed, but this time it's dated on sept uh, 11 September 2019. It said, Read disposal of vessels in relation to the final for future order obtained in suit number FHC 4 slash ABS 4 slash CS 4 slash 742 4 slash 2017. FRN and anchor view unknown persons arrested vessels. It said, I am directed. He said, I'm directed to refer to the Chief of Navy Staff to the earlier correspondence reference number HAGF 4 slash ARMU 4 slash NSA 4 slash 2018 4 slash 1, dated on the 9th of September 2019 from the Honorable Min Attorney General of Federal Federation and Minister of Justice on the above subject matter. Copy of letter attached and marked A for ease of reference. Which was the first one. So please be informed that Omo J Nigeria Limited has been granted approval to conduct an open bid for the sale of the following vessels: same crude oil, same automated gas, uh, this the same piece and emirate. All five of them, just as the previous one, was well, just more like a receipt anyway. So a copy of the letter of appointment is attached and marked B. For the purpose of disposal of the vessels and products under reference, the Office of the Honorable Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice requires the Chief of Naval Staff to kindly grant access and necessary support, as always, for the whole process. I am to convey to you, sir, the best wishes of the Honorable Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice of Peace. It is signed by Ladidi B. Mohammed, Head Asset Recovery Management Unit and um, the Implementation of the National Anti-Corruption Strategy for Honorable Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice. For, for, for quick reference now, uh, uh, Malami, Ibrahim Malami, Ibrahim um, uh, Mago, sorry, is actually reporting to... Uh, San, San Malami, that's uh, senior advocate of Nigeria, uh, Malami Abubakar. So, yes, once some of these things come up, maybe what's, what he's trying to tell the whole Nigeria is the fact that uh, the San, the advocate, the, the chief justice of Nigeria, AGF Malami, cannot say he did not know about some of these sales. Some of them actually went through his office, which he knew. How can he now say that he did not know? Well, in the days where she, Sani was under the in custody or something he said if you check on some of his social media handle it was but he made bold to say that in efcc there are two persons oga boys and um, magu boys so so obviously if Ma, uh, Ibrahim Magu has been under uh, detention for this number of time and he's now under suspension. Uh, like Nigerians were saying, said up to now he has not been won that placard to show whatever he does, you know, since the fact that he has been trading for a long while now, but yet he has not been given that one would expect. So he's now saying, look, he's too adding to and to believes that this could be a little handiwork of um, the quote and unquote Ibrahim Magu boys who wants the whole Nigerians to also see that ah uh AGF's Malami is not particularly you know clean in this thing. It's a cracket thing. You know maybe he's he's not subjecting himself properly. These are just permutations and reactions coming from of course Farouk who is a the pundit a political a Nigerian political pundit who has been predicting, analyzing, and looking at things in a different perspective. But looking at it properly, one will see that uh, may, just maybe, yes, being that uh, uh, Malami, Ibrahim Magu is reporting directly, you know, to uh, Malami. It's also normal that some of these letters ought to be coming up. But the question is, if this is the first letter or the ones that leaked out, which is dated far back in 2017, 2018, what about 2019? What about 2020? What about 2020? What about 2000? Yes. So 2019, 2020, there have been no sale, no recovery, nothing. You now understand why uh, Abubakar Malami is also asking if we have been doing this regularly 
regularly what stopped it how come i'm not seeing things but what Margo is trying to you know generally say is i am not uh yes i may not be uh found guilty yet but i'm not the only one here we, 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 it's a racket thing uh, that also quickly reminds me of what uh, falana femi falana the lawyer of um uh so where he he's threatening libel suits against um Abraham Mago using uh yes using his counsel defense counsel if for any reason because he heard that his name is being mentioned that he was given 28 million naira he got really pissed what do you mean by that when did you give it to me so he's really to you know uh, go file a libel suit against you know Abraham Mago if he doesn't retract all those things. You just begin to see names coming up here and there. Now they mention Ibrahim Mago. The other time they men they just mentioning names, you know. But this one, this one did not really need to mention. What he just did was to pre present uh, memos, whether we like it or yes. Nigeria is fantastically corrupt. We cannot take that away further now while it's extraordinarily painful is the fact that uh, the the office of um, EFCC and the head where everyone believes to be the one to run to to fight corruption is in, in, in itself battling corruption within and that makes almost the fight of corruption almost hopeless if the person or the head of the people fighting corruption is corrupt themselves then Nigeria needs to really look Nigeria needs to look inward this is something that needs to be uphold totally removed and maybe we should give we should stop um, empowering one man but empowering the agency as a Whole. Everybody keep hearing Ibrahim Mago, Mago, Mago. What about us hearing EFC says the people and you know removing power from one person and making the agency powerful and not the head quote unquote. But that's we're going to wrap it up. What's your take on this? Well, we have seen it all. The memo is talking, not me. Uh, what was brought out on social media is talking, not me. Obviously, uh, uh, San AGF Malami has not um, reacted to this. But once the reaction comes out, we'll let you know.